Hello traders, this is your traders friend. Thank you for joining me today for another video. I am so glad you could be here with me. Guys, just want to share a new strategy that I'm trying out and I suggest if you try it out, try it out with the minimum amount of your live account or either do it on a demo and do it for at least a day or maybe a week until you become comfortable with the whole concept this is the euro usd on the one minute time frame and a lot of times we have swinging market and what you have before you is the euro usd on the five minute and the euro usd on the one minute i wanted to show you both so that you can kind of um, see where our trend is going on the five minute time frame you can see that we are clearly in a bearish trend and you can see the difference this is our daily resistance daily support this one I think came from the hourly time frame I know the red ones um, this was where we were hourly way this morning and then we were between this trading range for a while um, last night early this morning early European session so that's what that is and you can see here that it's been a method that I've been using in on the 10 kind of out on the 10 thing but one of the things that I've been doing in the 10 and it makes your top your stop loss much much tighter is I have been moving and you can see where it was that I was in the last trade where I was moving my stop loss above the previous candle and I got out on this candle because we had such a huge drop and I had enough profit but this is the thing if you choose to trade this method and this is actually yesterday's level of support this was the support level on the hourly time frame before you got here and you see we've fallen through yesterday's support so that's what all that is and again this was my moving stop loss this yellow um, this little yellow line but this is a thing if you find yourself in a good run and at least this is what I'm finding in this method once you find that you have had a good run and you can see that this is from the high here is um, 142.68 and you can already see that we are in a bearish run and the low low down here is um, <laughs> 1.4197 now this is the thing once you get a good run like that you want to wait for a little while because usually what you find is once you have a run you get into uh, this kind of and this is a better example of it you get into this kind of choppy price action before you can get another little tiny run but once you get a really good run then it's best to wait a few minutes to see if you're going to resume that same trend or if you're going to get a bounce so here you have a little bounce chances are it'll move up and down but you can see that overall you're in a bearish trend and it actually may reverse on you but this is the thing if you are in this if you do decide that you want to try this it is a very fast getting pips getting in getting out if you see that you have recrossed that 10 and you're gonna get some fake signals if you uh, get in on it too soon if you see and actually let's just take a look at this because I'm thinking that this will probably come back down to here because it looks like we're gonna get a break of the 10 and we'll probably end up just sitting there for a while and the reason that I think so is because we've gotten such a long run so let's wait there for a minute and see what happens okay guys this is exactly why I say wait and I added an arrow while I had the video paused but we're gonna see where we go from this point because I'm not expecting a whole lot but bounce around so we'll wait a little while let's take a look at this on the hourly time frame as well okay in less than an hour the top of this candle is at one sorry 142.82 and it dropped down to one 
4197 after you get a drop that big chances are we're not going to drop a whole lot further but we'll we'll sit and we'll take a look and the reason that I'm showing you this is to show you the importance of waiting between good trades once you get a good run just say you're taking this on the hourly time frame and you're moving your stop losses accordingly now I've moved my stop losses as you know on the five minute time frame because I don't have this kind of patience but if you're moving and you're moving after you get a good run on the hourly time frame then you see what happened you've moved that stop loss now you've gotten stopped out it's the time to wait until the market shows you a new direction that it's going to take and you can see even once it finds a new direction look at what happens so if you enter in right on that candle with your stop loss above here you can see that stop loss is challenged and it takes several hours before price resumes that same trend for me since I don't have the patience I move my stop loss on the five minute time frame because this is the thing if I'm on the wrong side of the trade I don't want the market eating and into my into my pocket all day long and people say hey your stop loss is too tight no it's not too tight if I'm wrong I like to know right away can't give them too much of my paper okay guys let's go ahead and add um, another horizontal line here as our new level of support and we are about five minutes from the new hour but guys I just wanted to show you that once you get a really good ride in the market what you're gonna get is just this um, kind of choppy in and out kind of price action now we may break below that support um, coming from the next hour but if we break it chances are we're gonna bounce back up before we get um, a valid breakdown it may or may not or we may be done for the market day and it may be choppy but the lesson here is once you get a good run then go ahead and stay out of the market for a while because this is what you're going to get okay guys we're about to cut this video we are two minutes into the new hour and don't forget you're going to get this um, new hour bounce you're welcome to follow this price action the rest of the day but it has been a great trading day so far as you can see but I want to remind you if you use this method unless you are in a swinging market the in on the 10 out on the 10 works the best in a swinging market if you're going to go in both directions but if you have a market that is trending and that is strongly trending and you can use your five minute time frame to determine that but if you have a market that is trending then you want to wait for opportunities to go in harmony with that trend because these bounces these bounces a lot of times are tricked and I know I said something um, at the, before I paused the video uh, that it sounded like an absolute let me say this there are no absolutes in the market there are no absolutes in the market and a lot of times if you get in a situation where you have broke the previous day's support or resistance then you oftentimes get a bounce usually or let's say sometimes but once you get a bounce wait a little while or once you get the break wait a little while to see what's going to happen with that bounce whether or not you're going to bounce off because you are in a range bound market or whether you're going to come back and re-break once you get that second re-break then a lot of times you're in for a pretty good safe ride as you see right here but once you've gotten a good ride try not to be too greedy because then you're going to get this kind of situation where you're just kind of on a roller coaster ride for a little bit so once you get a good ride go do something else go have lunch or something like that and I'm about to take lunch and that's why this video is ending but guys you can absolutely do this you can be successful at Forex have a terrific